Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and thank you so much for your support in this platform once again. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. Please consider to like this video. Now, Kenyans, there's something which we are forgetting and I'm not even afraid to say it here. I've listened to every outcome from social media about William Ruto's visitation to Nyanza. And this is my message to Nyanza people before even I display a clip of uh, John Bade calling William Ruto Mutukufu Rice. Mutukufu. <laughs> but I, I want to tell you this, that you should not be happy celebrating that William Ruto have appointed one of your sons and daughters in various positions in the government. But again, we have to remind ourselves uh, what is the next step of William Ruto in, in this country as a president? Because it is a kind of he's talking too much and not delivering promises. Somebody is coming out and saying, our pay one year. So right now we are on 2024. But I'm seeing the CSS are campaigning. They are drumming support for William Ruto. You can as well testify. And I'm seeing it is going to happen up to 2026. Then we go for election. So it means that Ruto will do nothing at this moment. Anyway, let's rush to this video. Then I carry on. Let's look at this. I've described this as a skunk. Skunk in the country. Mimi ninajua ni, ni waziri wa Kenya mzima lakini nimezaliwa huku Mtukufu rais hapa kwetu tumekuwa na shida sana hapa sehemu ya Nyanza hata penetration ya stima average ya inchi mzima ni 76% lakini ukikucha hapa Nyanza penetration ni 40% peke yake kwa hivyo tutakuwa na inclusivity budget kuhakikisha hata watu wa upande huu wamepata maendeleo sawa sawa hiyo nitaongea na wewe tutafufua uchumi nina kuhakikisha hii uchumi ya Kenya mtupatie tu one year the second year itafufuka that is John Bade talking and is appraising pra Ruto yes uh, what normally happens here is that we do forget that only God is the one who gives and takes. But when we have gone to an extent of even pampering fellow human being, praising him, I doubt. I doubt. Anyway, I want us to break this into our political discussion that why Nyanza people should not be happy with the Ruto's job position and its visitation to Nyanza. But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this golden chance to thank you so much for your genuine support in this broadcast. Because if it was not your support, then this YouTube platform could have not reached or grown to where it is as at now. If you are watching me for the first time and you've never subscribed to this YouTube channel, I request you kindly do me a favor Take a one second and click that notification bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In that next time, when I upload to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come into your YouTube platform. And to the members, I want to appreciate you and thank you for your genuine support. As you drop your opinion at the comment section below, please consider to like this video. Let's proceed with this broadcast. Now, Atawe Uzaliwe Leo. Wambiwe, Kenya tunakwanga na rais. Auta jokeza useme, I love that president. Ama ni meenda mbali. Wambiwe, this is my dad. This is your mother. We ni mtoto. <laughs> I love unasema, I love my dad. I love my mother. The love of a child will will develop slowly by slowly 
as he or she adapts to the environment, knowing who is my dad, who is my father, then after that, she is going to adapt to them, slowly by slowly. Having a smile, disturbing the parents, having that character, trying to adapt one or two characteristics for parents to judge and rectify immoral. I hope you are understanding what I'm saying. But here comes a scenario. Kenya Kwanza is doing things abruptly. Pop! Let's do this, convince them. So, I've seen that uh, Ruto and his team are doing this. Unite them, confuse them. That is what he's doing. In his visitation to Nyanza, he has drum his support for 2077. And Kenyans, you can as well testify that. Those who have gone with the Ruto are busy campaigning. As much as they are launching some project which we don't know if they are going to be completed or they are just uh, pro showing off promises, the time will tell. There are some places in Nyanza which have been abandoned since the Moe Kibaki, the late, since Uru Mwegai Kenyatta, the ex-president, even Rail Udinga Amol Udinga was in the government. I never mind even to uh, rectify other places in Nyanza. I'm not afraid to say that. Let us just be frank. So today, Ruto comes from Jupiter, trying to convince the people of Nyanza, saying that we will do this, we will do that. And Mali is also coming out in social media saying that he give, let Kenyans give them one year. Let me tell you, Mbadi, and take it to the nearest bank. Ruto won't allow you to control him. Go and ask Ndungu what he said. It is Ruto himself controlling the government system. And that is why we are all feeling all these total failures. Because he never learned to be rectified. He never learned to, co to be controlled. He wants to control you. He wants you to do what he demands to do. Because he's your boss. And you will obey it. You've called him Mutukufu lies because you want, to, you want your name to be uh, deleted on uh, which wrong or quarrel argument which you, you have been with him some, uh, some years back. But that is not the best thing. Because as a leader, you ought to stand firm and stop this mediocrity of uh, pampering someone, your fellow human being, Mutukufu. Moi was called Mutukufu some years back, died long time ago. <laughs> 2019, was buried, 2019 or 20, whichever the year. So let us also forget about, uh, let us also sometimes as a politician think about God and stop this characteristic of uh, saying this and that, Mtukufu and this. And to the people of Nyanza, you should not be jovial enough, be confused with William Ruto's visitation. Is only having a determination to for you to vote him 2027, of which I'm not saying that don't vote him because it is your right. I have no authority or power, but I just want to pass this knowledge and wisdom to you. Please, your vote is very much important. The moment you vote for any person in this country, you all have a future on your hand to this country. And you can as well testify, other places in Nyanza region have been abandoned for several years. As leaders are just traveling with the land cruisers, helicopters, choppers, going across the country with the luxurious life, life lifestyle and forgetting youths in this country, millions of Kenyans. So I saw you in social media, you are celebrating. And I said, wow. It is good to celebrate. But remember, when the deal is so good, think twice. That is what I can tell you. Don't celebrate because Mbade has been given a chance. Mbade will only help his family. He will never come and help you. But he will work for the people of Kenya. If he like or not. You can as well even tell us more. There is an MP in your area. Only a few. Concentrating on his or her family, members, relatives, friends, and abandoning several people whom elected him. 
And that is the nature of human being and nature of Africans. So let us avoid all these dramas and have that critical thinking, have that mentality where tomorrow we are celebrating. What next as a country Kenya? We had this plan of even making road to, to, to be constructed. Uh, these roads have been constructed. Those are the questions we ought and ask ourselves in our mind. Rather than laughing every now, <laughs> this, this or that. No, that is wrong. Anyway, that is what I want to tell you. As Mbade requesting William Ruto and uh, uh, to the people of Nyanza to give them one year to renovate the economy. This economy. Na vile muna watax Kenya and samuna hata hii scales ya kusema wache tujenge. I told you very well that if you want to rescue this economy, muangalie eh, investment. Industrialization is very much important. Creating job opportunity and avoid overtaxing Kenyans in that Kenyans can now save wafungwe biashara. By doing that, economy na grow. Because we pay tax, they purchase things. They are able to pay even things in supermarket by exchange. But because you are clever, mimi ni class two, you cannot be uh, uh, taught or be given advice. Nini mkoju, ni wadosi. That is what you, you aim to. Anyway, I wish you all the best. Thank you and bye-bye.